During most days, kids aren't allowed to wear hats to school. But tomorrow was not most days. Tomorrow was wear your hat to school day. Junior wanted to wear an explorer's hat because he loved discovering new things. Where is the crystal tiger? exclaimed Junior as he played an exciting game with Loopy. Kate was going to wear a pink cowgirl hat because she loved watching old western movies. You'll never rob another tree in this town as long as I'm sheriff, said Kate as she chased her sister who wore a train robber costume. Theo put on an old airplane pilot hat and goggles that he found in a trunk in his attic. I'm going to fly around the world one day, he yelled, pointing his finger in the air. Mimi wanted to wear a hat like everyone else, but there was one problem. She didn't have any hats. Mom, do you have a hat I can wear? asked Mimi. I'm afraid not, my sweet little carrot, she replied while trying to help Mimi's little brother and sister out of a toy finger trap. Mimi was going to ask her dad if he had one, but when she found him, he was snoring like a monster in the bedroom. Ew, I wonder what crawled up his nose, she said, quivering with disgust. Next, Mimi gathered all her brothers and sisters into the living room and stood on top of the couch with a megaphone. Does anyone have a hat I can borrow? She yelled. Everyone just shook their heads, no. Even though nobody had a hat Mimi could borrow, she wasn't just going to sit there and do nothing. No way, no how. Mimi decided she was going to make a hat all by herself. Mimi gathered up everything she needed and got to work. She was going to finish making a hat even if it took all night long. Tomorrow finally came and when Mimi walked into the classroom with her hat, the whole class gasped in shock. Everyone knows Mimi is a silly bunny. But the hat she made was the silliest thing anyone had ever seen. Mimi's hat was crazy looking. It had twirly do's and twisty d's. It had glue and glitter, rainbow ribbons and fake funny snakes. There was even a small tree that had a bird's nest and a bouquet of pink flowers with bumblebees. Junior, Theo, and Kate huddled together. Yikes, that hat is way too silly, said Junior. The others agreed. Should we tell her the truth? asked Kate. I don't know. We don't want to hurt her feelings, said Theo. No one wanted to hurt Mimi's feelings, so they all decided to tell her a little white lie. Hey, guys, said Mimi as she sat down in her chair. How do you like my amazing hat? It looks great, Mimi, said Kate with a nervous smile. Mimi could tell something was weird. Are you okay? she asked. Y'all are acting kind of funny. As the school day went on, Mimi's friends had a harder and harder time keeping anyone from telling Mimi the truth about her hat and possibly hurting her feelings. At lunch, Bobby was about to say something mean to Mimi. Before he could spit it out, Junior grabbed Mimi's hand and pulled her away. Mimi, you have to come with me, he said. I, I found a cool bug. During afternoon reading time, Johnny Beaverton passed Mimi a note. Theo saw what was happening and pretended to slip and fall on Johnny before he gave the note to Mimi. Oh, gee golly, I'm sorry, Johnny, exclaimed Theo as he hid the note in his shell. After school, Junior Kate and Theo's job to protect Mimi's feelings got even harder. When they went to the park to play, 
an older kid named Tucker Cooney passed his ball to Mimi and was coming over to get it. Kate grabbed the ball from Mimi and threw it back before he got there. Quick, Mimi, Junior needs your help, she exclaimed. When Mimi and Kate found Junior, everything seemed to be just fine. Mimi was confused and a little bit annoyed. Now what in the world is going on? Mimi demanded to know. You've been acting strange all day. Mimi's friends couldn't keep telling their little white lie. Mimi, the truth is that your hat is way too silly and weird. We didn't want anyone telling you mean things or hurting your feelings, explained Kate. Before Mimi could respond, Bobby, Johnny, and Tucker all showed up. Mimi, I just wanted to tell you how much I love your hat, said Bobby. Mimi was so happy and flattered. Thank you, Bobby! Next, Johnny gave Mimi a new note with an amazing picture of her hat. I drew this picture for you because I think your hat is the coolest hat I ever saw! He exclaimed. Tucker passed Mimi his ball again and asked her if she could teach him how to make a hat just like hers. I passed you my ball so I could come over and talk to you, he went on to explain. After Bobby, Johnny, and Tucker left, everyone felt really bad about what they had done. We're sorry, Mimi, said Theo, dropping his head in shame. Yeah, we should never have lied to you, added Junior. Please don't be mad at us. Mimi was not mad at all. Oh, shucks, I know you guys were just trying to be good friends and you didn't want my feelings hurt, said Mimi as she gave them a big hug. But next time, just tell me the truth. I'm a strong bunny with strong feelings. The End